not a hundred percent sure, but there may have been hobbits that lived here. Possibly hobbits. Not a hundred percent. But if not, not sure who was shooting that or lived there. I hope it was hobbits. Hope so. Okay, so if you look closely, hold on. If you look closely back there, you can actually see one of the small guys getting ready to shoot the cannon, I think. They're little, that's why they have small doors. Pretty sure. This is actually, you can see it there behind me, where they kept their ammunition storage. So, not small people living there. It could have been, we don't know. But definitely ammunition. And if you were about to fire this cannon, you wouldn't want to stand in front of it. Because that'd be bad. Okay, also for those that are interested, if you download the app, it's the Citadel app? Time Looper. Time Looper. You can use your phone, which Mary was doing, and if you look through it at certain areas while you're here at the Citadel, it'll show you... What it looked like in June 1944. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. So definitely a cool app to have with you when you're touring around. So you can not only see what it looks like today, but what it looked like back in history. Because that's why you're here in the first place. All about the history. Right. Yeah, and you, they have like all kinds of locations. Not just the city. Not well, just the city. Right. Not just Canada either. So, get the app. Do it. What's the app called? Time Looper. Time Looper. Time Looper. And there's, there's, there's one of the historic tractors back there. Bulldozer tractor. That's an excavator. Excavator. Thanks, Mary. She works for a landscaping company, or did. No. She's currently unemployed. I'm unemployed. Unemployed. Where for Because it's just fun. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in to this little expense cartridge store. And it's kind of in the side. So you can kind of see what the space is like when you're in one of these spots. All right, here we go. Okay, try not to. Bang on yourself for something. Oh, it's feeling tiny. It's very dark. But you can stand up. So it's stand upable. Right? So stand upable. But other than that, super oh, dark. Right? Super dark, not a lot of space. And Harley's freaked out because there's a bug. There's a bug. Big old bug. Where's Look at the big old bug. bug. Oh, your big old bug. Right there. Big old bug. Big old bug. No. Wait, right. I'm going back out. Harley didn't get very far in. You were back there. I was back there. Although the shade is nice. The shade is nice, but there we go. So that's, they're small, you know, didn't have a lot of room for anything, really. But they made do with what they had. It's a fairly big fort, really. All right, more walking, I guess. All right, and if you're looking for some shade, this isn't a bad place. There's some stairs here that go down into the bowels of the fort. That's probably not accurate at all. At all. But super cool down here, as in temperature-wise. Gets you out of the sun for sure. Oh, that's nice. I seem to be down here alone. But this is kind of it, right? Which is, which is cool. More doorways. Where do these go? Oh, it's dark. Oh, more cannon-y stuff. See, cannon. It's 
cool. They're actually bigger than I thought they'd be. I expected them to be tiny, but cannon to shoot off that way. Lots of cannons. And, oh, darn, I, what would this be? Oh, this is where they slept. So, they have a cannon back there, and this way we have Harley singing constantly. We have beds right here, so they could sleep. And a wood stove, where's the stove? Behind me, right there. So yeah, very cool. All right, let's get out of here. What's also cool about walking around today is if you listen really carefully, listen. You can hear the authentic sound of a table saw. Listen. Or some kind of saw. Right? You don't get that all the time. Very authentic. Very authentic. It almost, it's almost soothing. Okay, I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, gunpowder. This is where they keep their gunpowder. They also... I thought it was wine. Mary thought it was wine, which would have been awesome to be supplying all the soldiers with this much wine. And maybe they've just labeled it as gunpowder so it didn't look like they were all alcoholics. Why is this, this guy freaked me out right here. Oh my gosh, I'm like, we're not alone. There's some guy in a glass cage. See, they've locked him up so he can't get to the wine because he's crazy. Right? But a lot of, uh, a lot of okay. gunpowder, gunpowder. So they had a fair bit that they still have here, I guess. Hopefully it's not real gunpowder, right? Cause that would be very dangerous. Don't come in here and light up. Shouldn't light up here anyway. And you gotta really watch cause if I'm not paying attention, I'm gonna crank my melon on one of these doorways for sure. All right, where are we now? Well, this is just, a room. Just a room. This would be a super cool room to just have. A room that just looked like this. Right? Because it's super cool. Alright, more walking around. It's so nice and cold in here. Yeah. All right, so that was cool. We checked out like the school and cool. entertainment room, right? School and entertainment room. Because they have like a theater, theater. And they explained it to us, which was super cool. So we'll kind of show you that right here. Uh, it's uh, for entertainment and uh, education because this this is a school room. Right. So yeah, um, and uh, some of those slides are original, and some of them are remix. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Right, so we didn't even know that there's been multiple versions of the Citadel. So, depending on the very first, which didn't hold up to the elements, because of that they made the second version. And then, holy jeez, scared the bejeebus out of me. I think I cramped myself a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I should, I should go check that. Anyway. 
Anyways, they made three, four different versions. So, fourth is the current one, but they went to one, two, three, and then finally to this version that we're kind of in right now. So, very cool. Alright guys, we're leaving the Citadel, and as promised in a previous video, Mary and I are going to go get a donair, and we're getting a belly buster. I think we're just going to share it though, because I don't think I can tackle it, or should tackle it. Can tackle it, possibly. Should tackle it, definitely not. So, we're going to go there for lunch. Belly buster. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be bad. So bad. Alright, so Mary's abandoned me to go do this. She's taking Harley to Tim Hortons, so Harley can get something to eat. But I'm going in and getting the belly buster. So that's happening right now. Okay. Okay, so now I'm waiting, waiting here. They're making it somewhere back there. Right there. Back there. Belly Buster. It's happening. So excited. Oh, I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. Okay, well, I really shouldn't be this happy or excited, but I am. Look, it's a big bag. I don't know how big it is, but we're going to find out once we get home and see if there's enough for Mary. Maybe. 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 Wait, okay, so it's happening. It's happening right now. Well, with a whole lot of looking up and re-looking up, you got the... The best fare. You don't need to watch this unless you want to. All right, so before this video is over and after our donair, we decided it's probably best for us to come for a walk. So we're at Mount Pleasant Park and we're up for a walk. And uh, 
I'm gonna possibly take some photos and some video and stuff. I don't know if I'll show them to you. We'll see. But we're going for our walk. And uh, tomorrow we're heading to Digby. So, that's it for Halifax. Digby, here we come. <laughs>